Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So with summer reading coming up, I figured I would use this bookish sticker book and create a summer reading list for my planner for all of the books that I would like to read this summer. So I have stickers, some washi tape, and some dot grid paper from a Happy Notes notebook. So I'm gonna flip through this sticker book real quick just to see what kind of stickers I have to work with because I haven't really flipped through this book a whole lot. So I really like these stickers. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and use them towards the bottom to really decorate the corner. And I want a quote to go with a couple of these girl stickers. So I think I'm gonna pair these two with this Get Lost in a Good Book sticker. And I'm going to kind of stagger these just a little bit so that they are not in a straight line. I'm gonna add a few of these star stickers to the corner. And then I'm looking for something to do at the top. So I definitely wanna use those letter stickers, but I'm looking for a decorative sticker to pair with them. So I'm gonna do this stack of books and I think I'm gonna put them up on the left corner. And then I'm going to spell out summer reading log at the top. And whenever I'm using sticker letters, I really don't like doing them in just a straight line. I feel like you can never really get them straight. I always love doing them a little bit more like bouncy letters. And it just, to me, it makes it look more fun. And it's way less pressure on yourself to make sure that they're straight. So I'm trying to be sure to grab stickers that are not going to be the same color next to each other. So I think because both of the G's in the book have this mint color, I'm gonna grab this different O that is more blue than mint. So now that I have that done, I think I wanna try something down here in the bottom right corner just so I can make the decorations all the way across the bottom, but I'm not quite sure exactly what I'm looking for. I'm thinking it might be kind of fun to write like a reading goal down here. So I might stick this note sticker somewhere, maybe up here. Actually, I'm not going to do that. So I'm gonna keep the bottom really just decorative. So I'm gonna put this note back in the sticker book and I will find something else to stick down here. So I actually love this book lover sticker, so it's perfect, it's gonna fit really well here. So I'm going to add some stars to each side of the book lover, just to fill up some of the white space down here. And then going into the journaling sticker book, I think there are some icon stickers in here that I can use for a list. So I'm gonna use these triangle stickers and I think I'm gonna do two columns of these, so it'll just be like a checklist of where I can write down the books that I read this summer. And I'm gonna basically use this list starting now. So this is just going to be a collection of books that I read from May through August or September. So I'm gonna do two rows of six. But actually, I think just so that I think it looks better, I'm gonna add another row of these checkboxes. So now I have two rows of seven. 
So that is 14 books to read, which is plenty. So that is my completed summer reading log. I am super excited to fill this out with books that I read this summer. Be sure to comment down below with a book that is on your to be read list this summer that you're looking forward to. And be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting this month with every other day plan mania videos. And I will talk to you guys all in my next one. Bye guys.